We begin with breaking news right now in Volusia County after an arrest is made in a deadly hit and run. Good afternoon, I'm Brett Conley. I'm Meredith McDonough. Lars Smith is now accused of hitting and killing Denzel Sykes, who was sitting in his car at a red light early Sunday morning in Daytona Beach. We want to get right out to Watch 2's Matt Grant, who is live with the breaking details. Matt? Well, guys, I just spoke to the police chief. He tells me the suspect is a career criminal, and tonight he's back under arrest. Police arresting this man, 40 year old LaRoss Smith, in connection with a deadly hit and run crash last Sunday. A coward, someone not willing to face up to something that they've done. And, and that's even more devastating because you want closure uh, to what has happened. Daytona Beach City Commissioner Paula Reed is the victim's aunt and spoke to West 2 earlier this week. Her nephew, 27 year old Denzel Sykes, was killed coming home from work around 1 a.m. as he waited for a red light. He was training to be a manager at IHOP and was about to start classes at Daytona State College. We thank God for the 27 years that we had him, but we definitely expected to have him longer. Police say Smith was doing at least 80 when he rear-ended Sykes, killing him instantly. Smith fled the scene, but because officers had seen him speeding moments before impact, they immediately suspected he was involved. The challenge, proving he was the one behind the wheel. We talked to him that night. Uh, there was a search warrant obtained to, to get uh, DNA evidence from him, and so it's just going to be a matter of time. Police won't say what new evidence helped prove Smith was the one driving, but they tell us tips from the community helped lead to his arrest Friday. Authorities say Smith was released from federal prison in May of 2013 after spending 13 years locked up for cocaine distribution. Police say Smith had a suspended license and never should have been on the road. And the police chief tells me that Smith has not been formally charged yet, but he's going to be charged. Those charges uh, will be, and I want to make sure I get this right, uh, that he was driving with a suspended license, vehicular homicide, leaving the scene of an accident that involved death and fleeing police. Of course, we'll have a lot more uh, for you on this breaking news story. For now, we're live in Daytona Beach. Matt Grant, West 2 News.